Welcome everybody on my channel for a new video in Egypt. First, a little disclaimer to explain my situation. In March 2022, I had a massive hemorrhagic stroke that paralyzed half of my body. And then, because I have just one hand, video editing is a little more complicated, so I cannot edit the video I made two years ago very quick. And that's why I delay the publication of my videos of Egypt. So today it's a new video here in Egypt, in the beautiful city of Luxor. Let's go. New day, today I'm in Egypt, still in Luxor, and today I will do a video I was not supposed to do because let me explain to you, it's a little complicated. So basically in Luxor I did visit a little around the temples here in West Bank. West Bank is the west part of the Nile River and it's where are all like the temples, the valley of the queen, the valley of the king and everything. And yesterday I did visit a lot around and it was very very interesting. Here you can see some image of those like extraordinary like temples but because I was with my friends and they told me you need to go to the Nefertari um, temple you need to see inside because this is so amazing and this is so unique but it's a little expensive so Nefertari was the wife of Ramses II and her uh, tomb is um, it's possible to visit her tomb but it's expensive so price is 1,500 Egyptian pounds. It's a little expensive, but apparently it's so beautiful and I have to see it. So today will be maybe or not, we'll see because maybe I will not do this video, but maybe I will do this video, we'll see. So look, sir, it's a new day. Let's go to visit the Nefer Tari tomb. Let's go. tips when I'm traveling is to always bring with me some coffee sticks and my thermos so I can fill my thermos then with nice coffee that I bowl in the hotel in the morning and then what I want to show you is if you're coming here in um, West Bank if you're coming here in West Bank I recommend you look at Sunflower Garden um, hotel because I, I paid a very reasonable price of $26 for three nights so it's super super uh, reasonable and it's quite relaxed. I slept like a baby. Look at me. I feel so relaxed with the sound of the birds. Listen to that. I, I wake up in the morning at nine with the birds and the kids not far away. So good. So Mission of the day will be going this direction, meet my friend who wants to visit with me the Nefertari temple and then go together. And first I want coffee and a nice coffee. Hi. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Benjamin. What's your name? Nadie. Nadie. What is that? Name in English? Tomato. Very good. This? Potato. Oh, you speak very good English. Thank you. How old are you? Eight. You're already big. <laughs> you learn English at school? Yeah. How many Future years? Future International School. What's that? Future International School. Oh my God, you speak better English than me. Go away. <laughs> Have a good day. You live here? Yeah. Okay. I stay at Sunflower. It's good. So first I want Turkish coffee here, banana. I meet my friends. And we go to Nefertari. Nice strawberries. Lime. Orange. Salam. It's good? Yes. For food? Oh. Here you have fresh dates. Broccoli, onion, here they have these eggplants, look, beautiful, 
So the guy is bringing the vegetable here yes. to the shop, yes. and then people buy. Yes. Where is this going? For you? Yes. For you only? Yes. Okay. Here you find some fresh dates. The first country I see that, my friend definitely told me it's good. And there, they are not like, you know, uh, dry. They are fresh, super fresh, and they are extremely good. Yes. It's live, yeah? Together. Look at my healthy breakfast. A nice Egyptian coffee here. With two bananas. How to travel and stay healthy. Coffee banana. Best combo ever. Ah, look at that. A fresh orange juice for 10 Egyptian pounds. So fresh, full of vitamins to live this day here in Luxor. One of the shops where you can buy orange. No, no. I is a friend. Oh, right, our beautiful car here, Apple car. The first Apple car I see here. With our driver. Hello. What's your name? Omar. Omar Sharif. Omar Sharif. Yes. Omar Sharif. Yes. yes. Okay, we just arrived almost in this direction, the Queen Valley. Where is Nefertari? On the right. Tomb. Nefertari tomb is so much money. Why? La 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 la. So Nefertari tomb is here. That's the entrance. Lot of shops and ticket office first. The queen of the valley. It's where we are. Visitor to entrance. It's 100. And here it's 1,400. Nefertari tombs is Two price. There is access to the Valley of the King for 100, and then you have extra um, access to pay with um, that is like 1,400 for the Nefertari tomb, and it has to be beautiful because this price is so expensive. Let me explain, because my friend told me. So when they discover the tomb, Egyptian people like 1904, uh, like the beginning of like uh, 20th century, they were scared of the of the mummy because inside of the tombs. They so were explaining if you enter here, you will be cursed and everything because those space were not like made for people to enter. So what they did, some of them, they burned the mummy because they were scared and they wanted to break uh, the spell. But some other has been also hidden by Egyptian people, some other place, and they found it in the, in the past. And then after they put it in some museum where you can see like, I think Paris, UK, New York or Cairo. Some of the mummy are now available in Cairo. And some of my friends saw them and they told me they're also like very um, intact. Like they, they, you can still see the face and everything. And it's many like thousand years after. Very interesting. So that's the valley here of the Queen. And we're going to the tomb of Nefertari. So if you're wondering how to spell Nefertari, Nefertari, wife of Ramses II. She's there, the entrance of the Nefertari tomb, and it's 10 minutes maximum because if you breathe inside, it brings some oxygen and it can affect the wall and the paint. And there, here, you can see this is what we're gonna see inside. And that's a map of it, you see. So we enter here, we go down, ting, 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 and inside. So it's discovered in 1904. Beautiful is that? Oh my God. Here in the front is a queen, and then you see also the god, and it's all like this scene of her offering to the god to for eternity, protection and everything. So that's God here, God here. And then here it's Nefertari and the God, Nefertari. And this God is named, c'est quoi le nom du roi? Du Dieu? Oui. Osiris. So that's Osiris, God. 
too. So there is more paint here. Here, paint here. This one is amazing. This is in. And then here, you see, we still make some work and research to recreate, maybe, because this is incomplete. And this is the main room down. All the colors are original colors. I don't know if you see very well. And then there is four big colon here one two three four and then all around we have those wall paints some of them has been a little destroyed but some other are like still intact like this one and then so some of them are gods and some other are like a representation of Nefertari like here or here so it's her dealing with a god I don't know the name of this god this is another god Jean-Marc C'est quoi le nom des, des dieux, par exemple, ici Je vois pas. Osiris, le dieu des morts. Osiris, god of the death. Tu reconnais Il a une coiffe très spéciale, une coiffe pointue, avec comme deux ailes de chaque côté. Il n'y okay. a que lui qui porte ça. Ah. Et là, c'est qui, par exemple, les trois Alors là, c'est un dieu, un des nombreux dieux... De... Bélier, alors ça peut être Knoum, tout ça, enfin je sais pas lequel. De, de la guerre euh, Non, c'est des dieux bénéfiques. Et ça, c'est la déesse lionne, une déesse agressive. Je vais vous montrer aussi quelques des rooms. Comme like this one, qui a été découvert. Ils ont mis des hairs, ils ont remis les hairs. Ils préservent. Donc, ici, le gars m'a expliqué que c'est une représentation de Nefertari when she was old. And on the other side here, you can see the Queen of Rattari when she was young. Here, and the guy mentioned to me, there is tattoo here. So most of this representation was part of the life of the, of the Queen also. And so this is Ramses number two here. This is Ramses too. Just before to leave, I want you to um, have a quick look at the roof because the roof is amazing. It's some kind of pattern and that's from um, back in the time. It's not like remade, it's origin. origin. I'm out of Neferatari. Tomb here was very interesting, very, very interesting. Um, the tomb has been closed for 50 years because of like, they don't want to have too much hair going inside and the hair can damage the painting, but that's very interesting. The second um, information I want to give you, it's fucking annoying because inside of, of this tomb, there is two guys and the guys like open and show you a lot of, of inside. That's pretty nice. But then after they ask you money and money and money and that's super tiring. So I wanted to film that for you to see. And to be aware, if you come inside, normally you don't have the right to film with your camera, but sometimes you can film, they let you film, but then after they will ask you money. And most of the time it's between 50 and 100. We gave 200. Next will be three more tombs who are included in the 100 Egyptian pan prize. So there is one, two, three. Let's have a quick look. But the best one is Neferati uh, tomb. That's a masterpiece. That's why it's expensive. This tomb was the sound of someone. And here it's all protected by glass. Tomb of the Prince Amen Kopchesh. Son of Ramses III. Then inside, at the end, it's where used to be the mummy here. The mummy was inside of this big sarcophage. You see, that's the son here. And those two people together, very interesting. Beautiful colors. It's two entrance, three, four, five, and this is the last one we're going to visit for today. That's the tomb of Prince K.M. West, who was the son of the King Ramses III, another son, discovered in 1903. And there is this kind of like shape of inside 
with first corridor, two side chamber, one, one, and um, then where was the um, prince here. On va quelle grande celle-là, tiens Oui, elle est grande, elle est simple, elle est chambre latérale. Ok. Afouane Ah, ah salam, ah. ça va oui. Good talk with you Good, okay. good, good, good. <laughs> Okay, I bring yeah. it my and we're done for today. I wanted to bring you with me in one of the best tomb here in Luxor, the tomb of Nefertari. And I hope you enjoy this video. Um, if you really want to see one of the best, the most beautiful one, and if you have interest in this all like history of Egypt, I really recommend you like to go inside because this is really amazing. I was just speechless. So, video will finish here. More video to come in Egypt. Not too much because I will fi soon finish my trip, but. A little more, I will go back to Orgada. I want to go in a submarine, so more adventure soon on the channel. So if you're new on the channel and you want to see more of the, my adventure around the world, don't forget to subscribe and see you in a new adventure somewhere around the world. Ciao!